What a night for Julian Champagny. Career highs of 34 points, 16 rebounds as St. John's beats DePaul. We're joined by the junior star now. And Julian, after a long layoff from game to game, describe how you were into such a great mode here tonight. Uh, well, I mean, two things really that uh, I feel like pushed me over the top tonight was uh, one, as soon as I got out of quarantine, no, matter of fact, first really my teammates, honestly. Um, I feel like they just pushed me all the whole game, uh, told me to not stop. Um, and kind of just gave me those confidence, gave me the confidence, you know, uh, to get buckets in, 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 in specific times, you know? So uh, I definitely give a lot of credit to them, the utmost credit to them. And then also, you know, just come out of quarantine and uh, doing my best to stay in the gym all day, every day, um, getting multiple workouts and shots up, um, kind of finding my groove and then getting back in the weight room and stuff, you know, just to get my legs under me and stuff. And I feel like, the work that I put in for the past thing was like five days, uh, paid off. Can you explain what these last couple of weeks has been like when you're sitting at home as your team is, is facing Pittsburgh and that was a, a heartbreaking loss. Then you have to go through a stoppage where you can't play any games and the lead up to a game like tonight, a game that really meant a lot. Uh, I mean, it was tough. You know, it was tough. Uh, Sitting at home and watching that Pittsburgh game, I was I wanted to be there for my teammates, um, so that was extremely tough. Uh, but coming into you know, coming into, into um, tonight, we kind of just, as a team, you know, we said you know we're on a layoff. We got a couple guys back late. Um, some guys weren't supposed to be here today, but they ended up being back. Um, so we ended up having just about our whole team here. I think it was, it was our whole team. We had to walk on. So um, you know, getting that, you know, having that before the game, it just felt you know it felt right. It felt back like a like a regular game. So, um, I mean, it was tough for the first couple for, for the weeks, but we're coming back off off uh, quarantine and stuff. We got in the gym and, and then got right back to work. DePaul is within three with a little less than five minutes to go, and you knocked down a big-time three from around the top of the key. Then you had a bit of a celebration after that when you got it to six. Take me through that sequence, and I got to hear about that celebration. Uh, well, I mean, you know, it was, it was, a, it was a, a big shot. You know, I, I really want I wasn't going to shoot it. I ended up shooting it. Uh, I felt it. So, and honestly, it's really proper to tell me to shoot. So I had to shoot it. I had no choice. But, um, you know, it felt good to take that shot and make that shot. Um, I've been working on, you know, off the dribble shots. And I feel like, I, you know, it's just time to start shooting them and, 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 and shooting the good ones. Um, and the celebration, I mean, this, this is our home. You know, that wasn't, that wasn't for me. That was uh, for my team. You know, I feel like we want to protect, we want to protect this home this home court at all costs, um, and we want to play hard. We're going to play through adversity, and I I said that at the beginning of the year that we're going to run through brick walls for the fans and for you guys, um, and also for ourselves, for our teammates. So that that wasn't that wasn't a celebration for me. That was more for my team to know like this is our home court. Like let's finish this game up. So do you listen to everything Posh Alexander tells you to do? Yep, just about. <laughs> <laughs> now does he listen to you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's that brotherly bond. Hey, uh, 17 points for Dylan Adai Wusu, uh, a fellow sophomore to Posh. We've talked about that duo before, but he had that dagger shot. What's his yep. presence mean? Uh, I mean, today, he, I mean, for the whole season, he's been stepping up. You know, I've never seen a different side of Dylan in practice um, and being more competitive, more, more, uh, more vocal, becoming a leader and kind of stepping into his role. You know, I feel like he knows what's at hand. Um, and he wants it, and he wants to take it. So I feel like his past couple of weeks, he's been really talkative, getting extra work in. Um, he's been in the gym all week this week, um, shooting a lot more shots than I've ever seen him shoot. You know, so that last shot that he made, um, it was actually funny because when he shot it, I was looking at him like he was crazy. But um, when he made it, I was like, you clutch, you clutch. Good shot. Um, but he's been working on that. You know, he's been doing, he's been doing the practice. I think he did it like two practices ago. He had a really tough shot that we needed. Um, so, I mean, today I'm super proud of him. I, mean, I told him before the game that, you know, we're going to get him to step up, especially with guys coming back and have him play, play a lot more. Um, and he did just that, and uh, he did more, honestly. And you win this game, you return to play on Lou Carnesecca's 97th birthday. What kind of an example uh, does he serve still even today? Uh, well, Coach, Coach, Coach Carnesecca, I mean, he's a monument, honestly. Uh, we look up to him, even though he's not our coach. You know, that's, that's, that's the kind of impact he has. Like he has so much knowledge and valuable, uh, you know, assets to him. And that he gives us, he gives us a lot of jewels and gems. 
Um, even in the little time that we ever speak to him, I probably only spoke to him in my three years here, a matter of maybe less than 10 times. And he's given me so much, you know, in such a little time. So um, we came out tonight and coach had mentioned it was his birthday. We already knew, um, but we weren't, we weren't gonna try to lose on his birthday. We wanted to come out and play and play as hard as we could for him, especially. The perfect birthday gift, a career night for Julian Champagny, 34 and 16 as the Johnnies win their Big East opener back in action Saturday at noon at Providence. Julian Champagny, thanks for the time and congrats on the dub. Thank you.